On a previous video, we created a hierarchy where we have product as the base class of that hierarchy. And then we have two concrete classes and we have pen that extends the product class. And then we have book that also extends the product class. And by using the entity decorator here in the book class and in the pen class, we generated one table for each concrete class. As we can see here, let me open the database explorer. Here we have the book table and the pen table. Now we are going to make a few changes to the hierarchy so that we use a single table for all the classes. So here we need to add the entity decorator and we need to add another decorator that is table inheritance. And for this decorator, we need to set what will be the column where we're going to include the type that will be the name of the class for each row of the table. Okay, this is an object. And here we find what is the column. And here we set the type of the column. This will be a bar chart. And the name of the column, that will be the type. That will be actually the name of the class. And here we are going to remove the entity decorator from here. And also from here, we will the entity decorator. And for the two concrete classes, we need to add a new decorator that is child entity. And the same for the pen class here. Child entity. And that's pretty much it. Let's go to the index file. And here we are creating a book. We are creating a pen. And we are saving the book and the pen. So let's go to the database explorer. And now I'm going to remove these two tables. OK, now I remove all the tables from the database. And now let's run the index file. And let's take a look at how the new product table is populated. npm run start. Okay, let's refresh the tables. And so we can see here we have the product table with identifier, name, price, author, title, color, and type. The table includes the properties of the two classes. So let's take a look at the data. And as we can see here, we have the product table with two rows. The first one is the book, where we have the type book that is actually the name of the class, the same for the pen, that is the second record. and for those properties that are not part of the object, those fields are set as null. For example, the color in the book, as we can see here, and the same happens with the author and the title for the pen. That's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching, and I see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.